What's up homies, in this video I'm gonna show you how to start coding your first website. So even if you have zero experience in coding, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start and how to build a beautiful looking website. We'll actually clone Instagram. So if you have zero experience and you want to become a web developer, this video is gonna help you massively. I know you guys want to get your plumbing license, but before you do that, just give coding one more shot because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Here we have Instagram and what I'm gonna try to do is in this first part of this series I'm gonna show you how to think about websites in general and then in the second part we'll actually get into the nitty-gritty of writing the actual code so the code happens after we did the thinking I know this might sound weird because you might think that coding is like the most important thing that you can do as a coder in a way you are right, but you are also wrong because you have to think before you code. My father told me before kicking my ass that I have to think before I write something down. Let's start with this website. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna go to this website called Web Whiteboard. And I'm gonna pull this screenshot into the Web Whiteboard. And what I wanna do is I wanna be able to identify the elements that I'm looking at. So when I was in art school, because I'm also a self-taught artist, I'm a self-taught musician, self-taught barista, self-taught developer, and self-taught business owner. When I was in school, um, I had a teacher that showed me this trick where I have to squint my eyes so I can see the shapes of the thing that I want to draw or paint. And that was a very helpful tip and it applies to web development, it applies to creating layouts, especially when you don't really see the lines in front of you. So let's have a look at this uh, website. Let's actually start drawing on it a little bit. So the first thing that we see really is this rectangle that is covering everything. And then inside what I can identify is that we have this sidebar and then we have this main content space. So what I'm going to do is I will split this into two parts like this. Now, the next thing that I see is this middle container or this like super wide container. I want to deal with this first because this seems like is the most difficult. So the way I look at it, if you look closely, you'll see that on the left side and on the right side, we have an equal amount of space. And that tells me that there is another container here in the middle that is not clearly defined unless you like specifically look for it. So let me add a new shape. Can you clearly see that this uh, blue container has two uh, elements inside? We have the left side and then we have the right side. The next step after this would be to split this even further, okay? But this becomes very hard to read, right? I'm gonna try to recreate this layout over here without having the screenshot underneath because it's gonna be very hard to understand, okay? So here we see that we have this row with people that share their stories, okay? Like that. So these are our stories. And then we have the post container, as you can see over here. So let's try to do that. Now, the next step after this would be to create each person that created a story. So let's try to do that. All right, that's that. We forgot to put the text and whatnot, but again, I'm just trying to show you how to think about this stuff so you can actually start building this by yourself, okay? Now, the next thing would be to create a post. So let's try to make a post. As you can see here, we have uh, this container and this container is split into one, two, and three sections. So let's try to do that. Maybe I'm not gonna get into like super ultra detail because, um, these shapes are too thick for, for the screen, but I hope you'll understand the point that I'm trying to make because that's kind of the most important thing, right? So let's make this post a bit taller just so we can have something to work with. And let's make it red, okay? And then here at the top, we have the place where we would place the text. So let's just do that, boom, great. Let's make this uh, light gray. Uh, you cannot see it, but I hope you can believe me that it's there. And then we have the actual picture like that. And then underneath we have a description with uh, some actions and whatnot. 
So let's try to do that real quick, right? And then you'd go even further to create this picture, then the name of the user, then the date when this was posted, and then the three dots and whatnot. So you would get into more and more details. This is just an example of how this would work. Now let's actually do this sidebar here. Let's make this a bit uh, thinner like this. So we have a bit more space. Then we would have a user inside. And then we can see that my username and my name, they're on top of each other. And that tells me that these are, because of my experience, of course, that tells me that these things are stuck together like this, right? And then inside I have another two elements. This would be the username. Underneath I would have the actual name of the user, if that makes sense, great. And then I would have some text. So let's just put a button in there like this, all right. So now I would have this element created. Let's just duplicate it a few times. Zoom in probably, I, I guess, oh yeah, that would be a great idea. So we can zoom in and we can add more details and whatnot. The main point of this exercise is to start observing, not just seeing, right? Because what you wanna do is be able to see the matrix because there's always a matrix. There's always something that is hidden, okay? Unless you know uh, the thing that you are looking after, unless you have some experience. So here's my challenge for you. If you are, if you've been watching this video until now, you should understand how this exercise works, okay? So what I want you to do is find a website, a website that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis, and I want you to go to this website called webwhiteboard.com, and I want you to practice this exercise, okay? And I want you to see you, that you are actually building these layouts, even though you're not writing any code whatsoever right now, okay? Do that, and if this video gets 100 likes, I'm gonna make part two, where I'm gonna show you how I would build this with HTML and CSS, so you can actually start building websites, then you can go into freelancing if you want that. I don't really recommend it, because I think in my opinion, you should learn how to code to get a job, but if you want to start freelancing, this would be a great place to start building layouts, building websites. It's gonna work really well if you start working on this exercise, okay? It's a skill, you can learn any skill, you can learn anything, give it enough time and practice. All right, if you want me to help you with learning how to code, uh, then apply for my mentorship program. The link is in the description. Then the second link in the description should show you how my program looks like. You can check out the community, live calls. There are a few free courses over there. And in the third link, there is a roadmap that you can follow, which is gonna help you, you know, build some projects, build some skills, and then at some point you'll get hired. All right, peace out.